Welcome to the Wallet page. My name is Carl and I am the founder of Dibly. If this is your first time here, I recommend watching the full video so that you can confidently get started with Dibly. The Wallet page is where you import your crypto transaction history into Dibly. All the portfolio graphs and tax calculations are done based on the transactions you import. As you can see, when I click around here, nothing is actually available until I add my first wallet. That brings us to the first and most important point in this video. You need to import all of your crypto transactions from your very first transaction. That means if you're declaring crypto taxes for the tax year 2021, you still need to import transactions from previous years all the way back to when you've purchased your first crypto. This allows Dibly to understand what price you paid for each crypto so that you avoid paying too much in taxes. We spend a lot of time at Divly building custom integrations that support a wide variety of popular wallets. These include exchanges like Binance and Coinbase, wallets like Ledger or Metamask, and blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum. To find the wallet that you use, simply type the name in the search bar and then click on the wallet. Once inside, you will be given one or more options in how to import your transactions that you can toggle between in the top tab. Let's talk about these different methods. Firstly, you have the automatic imports called OAuth or API. By using these methods, you can let Dibly automatically fetch your transaction history directly from your wallet. This is the easiest and the most efficient way of importing your transactions and keeping them up to date in the future. Secondly, you can import your history by downloading a transaction file from your wallet. You then upload the file to Dibly and we will import all the transactions in a file. This is what we call CSV import and is probably the, the most common way of importing data into Dibly. And don't worry, Dibly can only read your transaction data. This means that we do not have access to trade or send crypto on your behalf. So let's see this in action. For Coinbase, we have built an OAuth integration, which allows us to automatically fetch your transaction data. Here you will see instructions on how to import your trades, as well as what type of transactions the integration supports. In this case, what you do is you click on this button. It directs you to Coinbase. If you have not signed in yet, it will ask you to sign in and then you authorize Dibly to fetch your transaction data. Once completed, Dibly will automatically import all your Coinbase transactions. You can see the little flying bird below, indicating that it is fetching your transactions. Once it is done, you'll be notified with a success message. Now at the top, you will see under my wallets that 11 Coinbase transactions have been added. Now let's take a look at Kraken, where we have not yet integrated an automated import method like OAuth or API. In this case, we need to upload our transactions using a CSV file. Follow the instructions to download a CSV file from Kraken, which I've already done. Then drag and drop that CSV file into Dibly. As you can see, nine transactions have been imported into Dibly. Sometimes you might find that your wallet is not listed in Dibly. In this case, there are a few things you can do. Firstly, you can add transactions manually, one by one, in the Transactions page. Simply go to Transactions, and then click Add Transaction. Choose if it's a deposit, a withdrawal, or a trade, and then fill in the required fields. Secondly, you can use Dibly's custom upload file. In this case, you go to Wallets, you type Custom Upload, you download a file here, and then add all your different transactions into the CSV file. Once you've done that, you re-upload a file into Dibly. Finally, you can always contact Dibly support about your missing wallet. If you provide us with a CSV file from a wallet, then we can usually integrate that within a few business days. This also helps other users who want the same wallet to be supported. Drag and drop your file here and we will be able to see it. Let's say you imported all of your transactions today and tomorrow you made some new trades. Now you want to update your wallets to include the latest transactions. Do this by first clicking on one of your existing wallets to enter the dedicated wallet page. From here you can edit your wallet name, delete your wallet or update your wallet with new transactions. If it's an automated integration, simply click the button at the top right and all the new transactions will automatically be imported into Divly. If it's a CSV wallet, I can just drag and drop my updated file into this box. 
Divli will automatically filter out any duplicates and only import the new transactions. Once you have imported all your transactions into Divli, it's always good practice to check whether your transactions were imported as expected. And you can do this by going to the transaction page and filtering by the wallet you just imported. Here I can see all my transactions and I can double check on exchange that everything was imported as I expect it to be. It does happen that sometimes exchanges will change their CSV file structure or we may add a new transaction type that Divli has not seen before. We try to proactively find these issues and often manage this successfully. However, if you do find that some of your transactions have unexpectedly not been imported, go down to the bottom corner here, click on the chat icon and let us know by sending a message here. We will try to fix it as soon as we can. So if you have any further questions or feedback, please feel free to contact us via our support chat. You can also read our FAQ, which you can find at the bottom of the page. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and that you have a smooth experience using Dibli. May you flap your wings to the moon and beyond safely.